my friend see it. The Lakers punched their ticket to the playoffs last night. Why I think they can advance past John ja Morant and a very tough Grizzlies team in the first round. Zion Williams says, Williamson says he's not coming back until he can be Zion. Will that be soon? Because with Zion, the Pelicans are live. And why one Packer thinks the team is not going to give in on their trade demands for Aaron Rodgers. He has a whole strategy. Let's go. And we begin with the Lakers, who survived a scare from the Timberwolves, winning in overtime and clinching the seventh seed in the West. LeBron had 30 and 10. AD, 24 and 15. The Lakers now have time to rest before their first round series with the Grizzlies, which starts Sunday. All right, let's talk some hoops. Monica McNutt, Brian Windhorst, recruit up. Guys, I'm actually encouraged by the Lakers' win. Oh, I'm okay. encouraged by it. As, as Keyshawn Johnson was pointing out this morning, you know, had they not had a play-in and they had to wait a good long while with a, basically still a kind of new group together, that's not so good maybe. They get a little more playoff experience, right? Playoff intensity. They play together a little more. They still have a nice long rest. And Wendy, Monica, what if I were to tell you, you knew nothing else about this season. You just knew the best defensive team in the league, certainly a top three defensive team, has a healthy LeBron and AD and competent shooters. Could you eliminate that team from title contention? I can't. What's your takeaway last mm. night, Monica? Oh, that's an interesting twist you got there, Kellerman. Uh, I would need more information. I think on the surface, if you were to stop there in terms of your description, yeah, you'd be like, okay, bet. But this is also to our conversation yesterday. Like, this is a year where there's not a definitive best team in the West. So I get it. It totally makes sense. I don't know if I buy that that is going to happen, but I can see how people are making that argument, Wendy. Yeah, that, Wendy, there's not a best team in the West. The only caveat is the Suns might roll the whole league right now. But other than that, like, let's see what happens. Other than that, it looks wide open. What stood out to you about L.A., Wendy? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say this was an encouraging performance by the Lakers, but it is sort of the reason why you think they got a chance. And that's because even in the worst of times, they defend. And they also have two-star players who can find ways to get things done. It was not a clean game by either LeBron or AD, but they found ways to get things done. And that's a huge difference-making thing to have in a postseason setting. The, a lot of people have compared this year's Lakers with last year's Brooklyn Nets. The Nets were the seventh seed in the East, and people were like, oh, they're dangerous, and then the Celtics slapped them out of the playoffs. The difference between that team and this team is that the Lakers defend. And that defense, and I yes. realize the Wolves were not at the best, that defense is what got them into overtime because they were able to get stops, and that defense will – hopefully give them an opportunity against Memphis because their offense was not good in this game and they were not playing an elite defense. Memphis does have an elite defense and that's what they're going to be facing in the next game. By week. the way, without Gobert, I'm really convinced. They, they suspended Gobert because they're better without him. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, you. I'm kind of with I, you. I, know, I, I thought they, they probably... And, I and disagree way, with Ant, that. Anthony Edwards had a very bad offensive game. He's a good defender, right? He's a good defender. D'Angelo Russell might look better in this, in this next round. Grizzlies guard the but not having Gobert killed them yesterday. You think it killed them? Killed? Carl Anthony yeah, Towns look comfortable Carl Towns, on offense. Yeah, because here's why. Here's what you're absolutely right. Not on offense because Carl Towns had to play yeah. so many minutes and had to get play center and get those fouls. He ran out of gas. If Gobert played, they would have probably gotten more from Towns. But I think mm -hmm. not having Gobert cost them the game. Maybe, I, I, although they may not be in it because of the offense with Gobert. Who yeah, knows? I, I hear you, Wendy. I think there's room for that. But also, like, they were in this ballgame. A couple of turnovers down the stretch, I mean, you could argue that they could have pulled it off as, with, as they were constructed last night. So I hear you on that, but they were so close that I'm not ready we to make it a already on to the Grizzlies. You two Let's are do it. fixated Sorry. on this Timberwolves team. <laughs> loquacious. The loquacious Dylan Brooks. Good defender, though. Gave the Lakers some bulletin board material. Listen to this. I don't really dislike nobody. You know, I just bring a competitive edge. Um, but I wouldn't mind playing LeBron uh, in a seven-game series. Why? Wow. Um, the legacy's there. Uh, first time back in the playoffs, knock them out right away in the first round. Um, they will test us good, you know. They got good pieces, good players, and, and that'll be a good first-round matchup for us. I mean, look, Grizzlies are going to be a tough out. I, and they're, they're, look, I, they could easily beat the Lakers. I understand. 
However, without Steven Adams, I mean, this is not an original point, everyone's talking about it, right? Their best big defender, who's a great one in Jaron Jackson Jr., is foul prone. Mm -hmm. You know, you, that's a real thing when you're playing Anthony Davis, who LeBron James understands how to use in this setting. They've won a championship together, right? I don't know, guys. I, I think the Lakers could pull it out. I think it's a, if this is a seven-game series. It could go either way. Kind of like the team with LeBron James. Apologies to John Morant. Wendy, what do you think of the Lakers' chances here? Yeah, you better settle in for two or three weeks of complaining about officiating because I think the way some of these games are going to be called is going to be in the spotlight. Uh, last night, the Timberwolves were complaining after the game, and they can point to the fact that I think the fouls in the fourth quarter and overtime were 21-3 to in favor of the Lakers. Uh, the thing about it is the Lakers draw fouls. AD and LeBron are two of the highest volume paint scorers in the league, and Austin Reeves, who now plays big minutes, his primary focus on offense is to get in there and draw contact. The Lakers are, are designed to draw fouls. And Jaron Jackson, as you said, he subverts. He is, he is defensive player of the year on my ballot. The only thing you can do to stop him defensively is to get him over to the bench because of foul trouble. So the applying pressure to the officials and setting the tone with officials could be a big part of this series. I also think the Lakers are going to need their offensive guys to show up. Yesterday, they won that game with essentially almost no help from the guys they got in the trade. In the fourth quarter in overtime, D'Angelo Russell wasn't a factor. Malik Beasley mm -hmm. wasn't a factor. Mm -hmm. Jared Vanderbilt wasn't a factor. They're going to need Vanderbilt's defense. They're going to need Beasley to hit some shots. And they're going to need Russell to be somewhat of you know, you know, a role. He's got to play a significant role here. He can't be a phantom like he was last night. I am screaming it from the rooftops, y'all. If Anthony Davis is a monster in this series, the Lakers will move on. It's that simple to me. And I think on the counter side of that, the Memphis Grizzlies have to play disciplined, focused, and mature basketball. They can't allow the chirping and the other things to distract them from the task at hand. I'm not so sure that the Lakers will get this done. Memphis has been really good at home. They've got home court advantage. I don't know that the Lakers have an answer for John Moran, who is continuing to ascend in this league as a superstar. I think Desmond Bain has been really good. And yes, in the regular season, there's a penchant for Jaron Jackson Jr. to get into foul trouble. But I keep looking back at their experience last year and wonder, have they grown? Will he be able to stay on the floor? And so, I mean, you can make the case for both of these teams. I keep going back to, and I know this is not a definitive take, but this is how tight the West has been all year long. So I just think we're in for a really good series. I don't mean to reduce it to this, but here I go. Come on, if reduce it. If at the it. age of 100, because LeBron turns 100 this year, if at the age of 100 <laughs> he puts Anthony Edwards' pelt on the wall, that might be the, the best player in the NBA one day. He's 21 years old. If he then follows that up by putting John Morant's pelt on the wall, I know they don't guard each other and everything, but in a larger sense, that dude might be the best player in the NBA 